Jesus then said to them, truly, truly, you know, whenever there's a truly, truly, it's just a translation of amen, amen, that is uh, Yeshua's unique construction. Amen is what goes at the end of a prayer. May it be so. Jesus front loads his statements. Only person in history who's ever done that. We don't see anybody in Jewish literature who's done it. He's the one who innovates it. He said, so certain am I of what I'm saying. This is confidence. So confident am I. So certain am I in what I'm going to tell you. I can front load. I don't have to say at the end, amen. I'm going to tell you amen at the front so you can take this to the bank. You can bet your Sweet bippy, um, you can bet your life um, that what I'm going to tell you is true. Take that to the bank. Truly, truly, amen, amen. I say to you, it's not Moses who brought this up. Jewish people, you see the rabbinic literature, they're attributing all these great miracles to Moses. Moses, Moses, Moses. Or as uh, Nefertiri said in the Ten Commandments, Moses, Moses, Moses. Uh, but the rabbis are talking about Moses, right? And more Moses sometimes than the Lord. And Yeshua wants to make sure you understand. Truly, truly, I say to you, it's not Moses who gave you the bread out of heaven. It was my father. But watch the, watch the tenses here. It's my father who gives you past Moses wasn't Moses but I'm not interested in looking at history I'm interested in telling you what's going on right now and that's why I'm not going to talk about was or had or gave I'm going to talk about the present it is my father who gives you right now the true bread out of heaven the true bread out of heaven it is given to you by my Father. Interesting. Where do we go from here? For the bread of God, Yeshua continues, is that which comes down out of heaven and gives life not just to Israel, but to the world, the world that we already know from the prologue and from the early chapters in John, the world that is in darkness, the default position of the world, the cosmos, is darkness and rejecting the Lord. That which comes down to heaven gives life to the world. That's the bread of God. Shall I continue? They said to him, Lord, always Give us this bread that we not be hungry. That this sounds like a really good deal. Sign us up. How do we get on the manning list? Lord, always, sir, always give us this bread. Give us this all the time. I want a subscription, right? Because I like bread. And it sounds to me what you're describing yourself as, not only did you multiply loaves, feed 20,000 people, but it sounds like you're a very special individual. Does anybody know what this is? This is the bread man. Not the bread maker. Back in the, back in the 90s, bread machines were all the rage. How many of you still have your bread machine from the 90s? I still have mine, right? And this one, right, we're looking at right now, the bread man ultimate plus. It's the bread man ultimate plus. It is the greatest bread man ever known to man. And they think, well, Jesus is a living, walking bread man. That sounds really great. Reminds me of what the woman at the well said in chapter 4. woman said to Yeshua, Sir, give me this water so I won't be thirsty nor come all the way here to draw. Jesus talked at that point about water and not being thirsty again. She said, sign me up. I would like that, that water that quenches permanently, uh, a permanent supply of water so I don't have to schlep out here to the well every day and get fresh water. Just so, the guys in the synagogue, they want a fresh supply of bread every day from the bread man. And Jesus said to them, 
not the bread man. But I am the bread of life. The first of many statements. We've talked about the I am construction before. But this is the first one that we see in the Gospel of John. The first of several that we'll see that has an I am plus a predicate. I am the way. I am the door. I am the, I'm the, uh, the shepherd. I am the good shepherd. Various I ams. The first one we see. I am the bread of life. Jesus is, I don't make the bread. Don't be thinking about yeast and dough. Think about life and how to live and relation, proper relationship with God. 